everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we're going to create Natasha's diamond and triangle type panel. And so right here, this is about oh, a half inch to five eighths of an inch of a brick, and I'm just going to cut one section off. I'm going to go ahead and match this up into my normal Natasha, and I'll take my blade and I'll flatten on the top. I want to get this as square as possible. Once I have that together, corner to corner, and just cut down. And once you have that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take these pieces that you've now cut as I lift it up off my surface and separate them out. Now you'll notice here that two of the pieces are going to be a natural Natasha. The other one is not. So you could go ahead and on three sides, you could go ahead and match it up into another Natasha. But the one I liked the most is the one that gave me the diamond-like look. So this way then it's, it's very much a, almost a diamond-like type piece. And I'm going to put that off to one side. We're going to cut another section. We're going to do the same thing yet again, matching it up and then going ahead and I'll make sure that the ends are flattened in. So I get that nice kind of like square or rectangle. I'm taking off an edge there <laughs> and then I have that and then corner to corner cut down right through the whole thing and again you'll just go ahead and separate out each of these little sections once you get those apart you can go ahead and like I said you've got two pieces that are automatically made into Natasha and then you got this other two pieces you can match it up on either side, but again, the one that I will eventually go to is the one that forms into that diamond-like look. Okay, so from here, you will notice that these diamond pieces I am placing side by side with the pieces pointing at each other, the triangular pieces I am placing in between each diamond section. And from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut more slices from that brick of scrap clay that I have and cut each piece as I have the other previous pieces. Once this is done, I will lay them side by side, giving me a fun and interesting series of Natasha images done in triangular and diamond shaped forms. Okay, so here I'm taking some black clay that was rolled out on my Atlas pasta machine on either a number two or a number three setting and I'm taking each of those sections of Natasha that I have and I'm going to place them side by side just like I did on my tile except this time it's going to be on that black clay some of that black is going to give just a little bit of separation so you could see each Natasha image image excuse me as I'm placing this down on the black clay Once I have this together, this particular piece, I could keep going and make more sections, cut more diamond and triangular patterns with this, and it could turn into a really nice border for either a votive or some other kind of piece that I'm working on. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop right here with this section, but to kind of give it some end cap, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take each of those, the two pieces right there I just put together. <laughs> I, you could tell I've got a, like a diamond section, so I'm going to just place it in there so it looks just right, and then I'll cut off the section that's coming off of the black, and again I'll fill in just part of my triangle on the end here on the other side. And this way then I have kind of a nice looking little border I can use wherever I want. Okay, so off of this brick, I'm going to cut two more sections and we're going to go ahead and recreate 
that same Natasha type image again where I'm going to go ahead and use my blade to create more of a squarish or rectangular form. I'll cut from corner to corner on one side and then corner to corner on the other. And then on these four sections, I'll pull these apart very gently. And once I do, we'll go ahead and we'll reform. Well, you've got two sections of triangle that are already matched up into that Natasha. And then take the other two and create that diamond-like shape. Okay, now I've got that diamond-like shape and we're going to change this just a little bit. Just like you had the panel before where it was sitting side by side, we're going to take those two triangular pieces and put them on the points of that diamond-like piece. And we'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and now I'm just going to put a little bit of black clay right in between. And to me, this looks kind of like a bow tie. <laughs> I don't know. It just looks to me like a bow tie. I figured that would be kind of fun, you know. It could also be, I don't know, in some regards, it also looks like maybe a candy wrapper. <laughs> so I'm going to do this yet again, and I'm going to place it right underneath the one that I had just done. And this gives you then another alternative with a bow tie type feature. Okay, so right here I'm just adding in two more little balls on this other little wrapper type thing <laughs> that I made. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in my knitting needle and just make the little dots into those little black balls. It will keep these sections all placed together, even when I go to go ahead and bring them up using my blade. And once I do that, we're gonna take those pieces here, just like I'm saying, I'm raising this, these up off my surface and we're gonna place these together like that. You can create a nice little ongoing diamond-like look into a row, into a border if you wish. Or in this case, I went ahead and I decided I'm gonna place one underneath the other. And then I'm gonna take a piece of black polymer clay, flattened out on a number two or a number three on my pasta machine, get these triangles and the diamond shaped patterns and I'm gonna place these right onto the black clay. And this will give me a nice black panel on the back side to show off these wonderful Natasha pieces. Okay, so here are my results from creating my Natasha diamonds in polymer clay. And if you would like to see more of this, check me out on patreon.com where I have the extended version of my Natasha diamonds. Otherwise, please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I am always wondering what you guys are thinking. And as always, I am sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.